So I live my life um, trying to hold myself accountable in every situation that I'm in. In today's episode, we are covering Victoria's Secret fashion show that happened yesterday. Guys, Tyra Banks is back, y'all. Also, Aiden Ross shares an update on his health status after suspecting he might have caught something from an adult worker, Skybury. Welcome to your one-stop hub for global news, sports, finance, and celebrity gossip. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a beat. This is your celebrity news. So Tyra Banks has returned to the runway for the first time in a very long time. And it's at the Victoria's Secret fashion show. Tyra Banks has not modeled for Victoria's Secret since 2005. As for the Victoria's Secret itself, the last Victoria's Secret show was held in 2018. Though in 2019, they tried to bring it back, but it was canceled due to a mountain of controversies and bad ratings. Since fans have requested it returned. And guess what? Victoria's Secret did just that. The show, making its full comeback after five years, has aired on Tuesday in New York City. Victoria's Secret is known for showcasing high-profile supermodels, and yesterday was no different. The show featured Adriana Lima, Tyra Banks, Bahati Prislow, Kate Moss. The show also featured models like Barbara Palvin, Ashley Graham, and many more. Kendall Jenner, though, was not part of the fashion show. We wonder why. Moving on to the next topic... Aiden Ross. So remember we published a video about YouTuber Aiden Ross who was concerned about his health while streaming with um, some guy named uh, Gucci Third Leg. And um, in the stream, he actually, somebody told him that uh, he made the woman that he has been with may have done some adult content with Gucci Third Leg. And so Aiden Ross asked Gucci Third Leg basically if he knows that girl. And he said, no, he has no idea who that was. My question to you is this. The reason why I brought you on is because I've had those relationships with somebody who would be having sex with you. And I wanted to have you come on here and clarify that. Um, so have you ever had sex with Sky Bree? I, I never heard of her. I don't know that girl. I never met that girl. Good, good. I don't know. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Then you just cleared me and Sky. Sky's clean and I'm works clean as a whistle. That's great. So, and that kind of gave Aiden Ross reassurance that he does not have any sexually transmitted diseases. And what we're talking about specifically is herpes and throughout this whole video we're gonna call it the itch so the reason why this is a huge news is because gucci third leg who happens to be an adult content creator on only fans allegedly let's say he has slept with over three thousand people but keep in mind also that he does this for a living so he actually you know do adult content on only fans and he gets paid for that so it's only normal that, you know, he's reached 3,000 body counts. We're not judging, you know, whatever floats his boat. The reason why all this came about is because there's uh, an OnlyFans model, Danae, who um, is also, you know, who has, you know, started creating adult content on her OnlyFans. From what we gather from this story is that Danae... Is on OnlyFans. She used to do content with herself, you know, by herself rather, on OnlyFans until her 19th birthday, which would have been last year, where she decided to up her game to make more money. And you know, these days, these OnlyFans models or creators, what they do is they would actually partner up with other people doing adult content and shoot a whole show and post it on OnlyFans and people would actually watch it. And that's how they make a lot of money. These type of videos, by the way, are 
call it, you know, homemade videos. And it seems like it's the norm nowadays. Even, um, you know, the big industries that are actually specializing in adult content are also now mimicking that style of, um, you know, shooting of content to kind of cater to the crowd. But that's not the point of this video. So back to the story itself. So Dene had collaborated with uh, Gucci Third Leg and we found out that allegedly weeks or months after they have collabed that Dene has come out blasting Gucci um, Third Leg's name on social media, on TikTok, everything you could possibly imagine. Basically, Dene is accusing Gucci Third Leg that he may have given her the itch. When we're talking about the itch, there's a first level, there's a second level. The first level is curable. The second level, you have to take uh, medication to kind of, you know, make it unnoticeable when you take tests. Allegedly, Dene is accusing Gucci Third Leg that he's giving her the type two of the itch. Dene has since gone on many other YouTubers stream to expose Gucci Third Leg. Wherever she could go and talk about it, she has gone. Gucci Third Leg, on the other hand, has denied, denied, denied exposing Dene to any STDs. In the mix of it all, Aiden, and we think in the, our previous video, we call him, uh, we called him uh, Aiden Ross, but it's actually Aiden, so sorry, Aiden. So during his um, last uh, stream, Aiden got the confirmation from Gucci that he never dealt with a Sky Bree. And by the way, Sky Bree is the adult content creator with whom Aiden Ross had slept. And basically the math is simple. If Sky Bree had slept with Gucci third leg before Aiden had slept with her, then he would have um, caught something allegedly. But since Gucci Third Leg claims he doesn't know who Skybury is, it kind of reassured Aiden Ross. But hopefully, we, th we, we hope he has gotten tested and knows for sure what he has and doesn't. While we are on the subject, let's dive deeper. So Dene accused Gucci Third Leg Gucci Third Leg says he did not give her the itch. Dene wanted to go on Aiden and DJ Academics live and confront Gucci Third Leg, but Gucci Third Leg wouldn't accept it. He kept on making excuses, but Dene was game to get on that live to confront Gucci Third Leg right off the bat. Now, Gucci Third Leg admitted having sores on his PB and says that it came from a cut from shaving. But according to Dene, that cut doesn't look like a regular cut. It's actually, it, it actually looks like an infection. But she went ahead and did what she needed to do anyway, didn't think much of it. Because again, at 19 years old, you know, you're naive and she kind of just went for it. The story is still unclear from our end, at least. So Gucci Third Leg could not show a proof of recent test proving that he ain't got the itch, type one or type two or whatever it is. The test that he showed on the live stream was dated. And Gucci Third Leg said he ordered another test and he would get it in the next morning at 2 p.m. Texas time only, meaning today. No words yet on Gucci Third Leg's new test results. Y'all, do you think Gucci Third Leg is lying? And Gucci claims he may have made uh, close to 10 millions of dollars on OnlyFans shooting content with other creators. No idea whether uh, or the timeline when, you know, this revenue was made. But it seems like a pretty decent amount, but some people may have been making more like Bad Baby, for instance. Um, Gucci Third Leg did um, definitely good for himself, if we could say that. That said, though, he better have paid his taxes or else IRS is watching and listening. 
Also, with that much wealth, if he were to be proved guilty for transmitting STDs to people willingly or unwillingly, because the rule of thumb is before you do any of that, especially for work, which in his case it is, it's not leisure, he should have gotten tested. And when he got tested and knows about his health status, he should have disclosed it to people that he was sleeping with. So if he were to be proven guilty to willingly or unwillingly transmitting diseases, STDs to people, he, he could be fined and possibly go to prison. And those 10 millions that he would have made will be poof, gone. What a mess, y'all. Let us know what you think about this story. Do you think Gucci Third Leg is telling the truth? Do you think he knew he had the itch type 2 and never disclosed it because, hey, you know, he thought, you know, what else could happen? Or do you think he also just didn't know he was as clueless as most, uh, most kids these days are? Let us know in the comment below. Here's an advice. If you're young and watching this channel, practice safe S-E-X. It's not worth risking your health for it. Also, if you could, if you could stick to a little amount of partners as possible, do that. You could date. You don't have to get it in all the time or blow into anything. Hopefully you get the point. Then again, you can take advice from YouTubers, so live your life at the end of the day. Here are a few shout outs. Happy birthday to Keisha Cole, who celebrated her 43rd birthday yesterday with Huncho, her boyfriend. Her man, her man, her man bought her a pink Maybach truck. Happy birthday again, Keisha. Also, former One Direction singer Liam Payne has passed after a fall from Buenos Aires Hotel Balcony, according to police report. This is weird, y'all. We will dive deep into this story tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe so you get notified when we actually upload. And finally, co-founder of Black Mafia Family, BMF, Big Mitch has been released from prison. A lot of people are talking about this. He will finish uh, the rest of his sentence uh, in halfway house in Florida. We cannot wait to see how this story uh, evolves. Diddy is in detention right now. Big Mitch is out. You know, who knows what, what's going on. There could be some connections there. And this One Direction guy passes away in the most weirdest way in Buenos Aires. All weird. Very, very weird. So we're going to go into all this um, tomorrow. We love you for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. You know, push that bell button so you get notified when we upload new videos or go live. We love you for watching, as always. And we will see you in the next video. Bye for now.